Hey, what's going on, everybody? So it's that time again. I want to bring you up to date on the close approaches coming up uh, this week. Um, and we start off right away with a bang. Um, this one is um, a building size asteroid. Uh, this is uh, asteroid 2004 UU1. Let me make that a little smaller. Sorry about that. Uh, it's close approach is 2.5 million miles. Just so you can see what this is in meters, that's 189 meter. And the ones that they truly are concerned with, I mean, because they can like devastate a city, a state, they could cause some serious, and I mean, catastrophic damage. Are uh, the ones that are 140 meters and above. So this is 620. That's for uh, passing today, October 30th. Tomorrow on Halloween, we have asteroid 2023 TW6, which is 280 feet, 80 feet. That's passing at a little over four and a half million miles. Um, on November 1st, Wednesday, we have uh, 2023 UZ3. It's a 58 foot. Remember, remember these are approximate size, uh, passing at just under 650,000 miles. Uh, also on November 1st, we have 2013 UV3. It's a 48-foot asteroid passing at about 3.5 million miles. And then on Thursday, November 2nd, we have 2016 WY. It's a 16-foot asteroid. It's a little over 2 million miles away. Now, you may wonder why am I telling you this. Well, I'm just going to make this a quick update video. But to just show you something, um, this is some interesting news that just came from ESA. That's the European Space Agency. And it says a significant number of large near-Earth asteroids will have close approaches over the next few years. And when you see this, um, I'm sorry, let me find the right, right one. I was just looking at this. Look, this is what I want to find right here. Current NEO. NEO means near Earth object. That's any object that is four and a half million miles or closer. It shows known NEOs. They, they have mapped out 32,947 asteroids and 121 comets. NEOs in the risk list, 1,516. It only takes one. NEOs designated during last month, 403. And NEOs, uh, NEOs discovered since January 1st, 2023, 1,912 new near-Earth objects have been discovered. And that's the only the ones that we've discovered. There's a bunch of them. Look at the one that went right over Finland earlier this year. And it, uh, it didn't impact Finland but it did impact, and you know when they found out when it hit our atmosphere, kind of like uh, Chelyabinsk in 2013 in Russia. Now, I'm not knocking them. You know what I mean? This is hard. You know, you got to work with what you have. And when you have asteroids coming from the direction of the sun, forget it. We, we can't see anything. That's why the NEO surveyor which should be launching, I am hoping, next year, maybe 2025. It's what I designated the James Webb for asteroids, the NEO surveyor. I'll, I'll be doing a video on that very soon. But uh, let me just bring you back to this for a second. I am going to do a video. I don't want to make this a long one. I'm going to do a video on this, on all the new near-Earth asteroids and the risk list. Like, if you look here, I always show you NASA's. Well, ESA they, and NASA complements each other so well. And ESA is just an awesome, phenomenal um, organization, the European Space Agency. Uh, kudos to them. And I'm going to break some of this stuff down to you so that you know when you want to check yourself, you already know and have the heads up on, like, anything to worry about or not. You could always ask me, drop a comment. You could drop a comment on any video about the, um, if you have a question, all right, and, and I'll get back to you. And if I don't, you could always email me at info, I-N-F-O, at cosmicneighbors.com.
All right. So I'll talk to you all soon. Uh, Y'all have a great rest of your day or night. Take care.